Hey, breaking your back. Today we're back with more slide, um, slide two trainer. Actually, we might do a bit of both. Actually, this video, I'm not sure if I will or not, but we'll see. I think we'll do. Some, I think we'll show off some stuff in slide three again, but maybe not. I actually found a way to get out of bounds. I, I'm gonna show you some how to get out of bounds here and fly around because you actually actually realize you can't do that. But it's very iffy. If you hit a certain trigger, it pulls you back in here. But you can actually get out of bounds here, so and fly around without having to go left, 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 right, right, up, up, down, down, backwards, forwards. You know the, 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 the keys here. Yeah, you can do it actually. But it's very easy to get pulled back inbound, so you have to be very careful when you do it. Okay, got the mouse. So I think you have to turn on the bar. It makes you go up and down quick. Now for this. Okay, let's do this. So first of all, you want to get which way goes up and down. No. Okay, it's that one, okay. It keeps changing, so. Now, this might not work every time, but I don't know what makes it work, but go out of bounds here. Go far enough away from the trigger. And then, Well, I'm moving pretty mad fast because I turned on this. I turned it on, so. But it's right around um, maybe here. You gotta be careful when doing this. See, it works. I, I don't know what makes you go back and bounce sometimes, but... It, This is very slow, so I'm not standing for this, so I'm gonna turn on the speeds. There we go, that's faster, much better. See, now we can go around here. So, yeah, you can actually do this. It's just very infamous for getting pulled back in. Well, not really, actually. I, th I think it's just certain triggers near... If you go near over there where the nightclub is, around the edges of the walls, I think then you get pulled back in. It's now you can explore out of bounds, but it's quicker. And, it's, and I, 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 at certain levels, it will not work no matter what you do. You, you have to use the, the, key, the keys, like left, the keys in the editor in this... Um, up, down, left, right, forward, back. It's slow and not well. If you turn the speeds on, you it's much quicker. But now you can just. I like doing this better because I can just fly around. I don't know why he's having a seizure. Like, why is he doing that? Like, when you turn on these cheat keys, he tends to. He just spazzes out.
can't make Strike free, you can actually leave the skybox. So. Can't in Strike free, you get you die to go too high up for some reason. That's not the tra that's not the trainer's fault. That's just how the game's made. It has a kill plane. What what you call it? This doesn't have any kill planes. Well, it has warp warp plane warp locations. If you go too close to over there, if you try to hover fly around where the level is, the eight club is over there. Yeah, you, you will get warped back in bounds. It will happen. So if you want to actually explore just over there, you need to use the cheat keys. I'm pretty sure. If you're back up again, then you'll find a way, though. But... I'm kidding. I do like his videos, but... I asked him how he did the chopper thing. He doesn't even, like... I think he's lying about that, actually, because he doesn't tell you how to do it. I, you know, I asked him, how do you do the Bentley RC chopper thing? And he, he doesn't even tell you. So, is he even telling the truth, though? I don't know. Because he won't tell me how to do it. I asked him politely, like, how do you do this um, with the trainer? Because I can't switch the Bentley in the RC chopper minigame. Where you have to destroy that, um... You know, that, that car that drives around in episode 2? Yeah, you, you can actually fight it as Bentley. And drop bombs and everything. Not as the RC Chopper, you can switch to Bentley and play it. You might you might need the character mod, actually, for this to work. You might, you might need the character mod for this. It's, it might be a bit different. convenient for us. Okay. I don't know if you can do this with... Why is the music still being buggy? I turned it off. Hold on. Wrong one. Okay, where is the stinking thing, actually? This stupid thing. This one, come on. There we go. Put the one on. We did not make it, so that but you guys get you know I switched that last time, but yeah, so you so you see so you can see, yeah, you can actually explore the bounds of flying. And just very you have to be careful where you go, because you could get pulled back in. And just stay what far away from the from where you out of bounds. Just stay far away from the from the areas right where the walls are. The walls, you know, the house, the area you're near. And you can plus get in some areas you get pulled back in. You have to use if you use these keys here. You know, it's these things up down you will never get pulled back in never but it, it's pretty slow and tedious so I would rather just fly around but it's still easier if you turn the speed this far up all the way 
the middle one, this one, you can go really quick with it, so it doesn't matter, but... Let's go to Cairo, the first area. Now, I'm going to show you guys, we can do it here, too. I found this out, so now we can actually exploit this way quicker. Yeah, we're in Cairo right now, so... This is the museum level, first part of the game, but if you want to actually play the museum, you have to load up a, a file that you've already beaten the level. If you don't do that, it's going to load the, the start screen for some reason. I don't know how to stop that from happening. Sure, he will find a way. Anyway, um, so, okay. First, go into this camera, and then we'll get about, so. Okay. Not exactly what I had in mind, but nope. Let's get far enough away from the trigger. Maybe then you can go out of bounds without having to deal with the with these with these keys. These keys are well, these are a godsend for a slide too, because you can stay out of bounds infinitely if you, if you just use these. Yes, you can stay out of bounds without any harassment. If you use the fly mode, you will get pulled back in bounds, so that's kind of annoying. There, now we're, well, okay, you can, if you go to, you can go near the museum, but if you go too close, you, you'll get warped back in bounds, so now that you're far enough away, you can turn the fly on, well, in, well if you don't walk, don't walk until you turn it on, then you can, like, turn it on. Now you can move. Okay, these cars move mad fast now, but... Look at these window stairs. Look at these. Oh, you actually stay. In, you don't move. Oh, if you turn the speeds on, he he stays still. I didn't know that. Oh, you can stay. In, you can kind of do that. Interesting. Yeah, I would not go over there because that's where if you want to you can explore this whole era if you use the cheat if you use the up down keys and stuff but i'm gonna try it actually but it's just yeah it's not gonna explore this area much quicker Go through the vehicles. Look, this is the fastest traffic I've ever seen. Well, it's because I have this fast mode on, so that's the fast Jeep. 
time time speed cheat. So that's what's making it do that. Whoa! Oh, it's invisible. Care careful. What the hell? I was on. I, I don't want to do that. Oh, now he's getting. Now he's doing. Okay. Now, okay. Now he's getting pushed forward. But I, I don't know what causes this. Yeah. Now he's forced to go forward without any. As a kid, I've always wanted to explore the museum, the Out of Bounds area. And yeah, now you can. I've always wanted to do this. Like I said, see? It does this. There is warp plane. Yeah, 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 there's warp planes. If you hit them, you get pulled back. Luckily, my warp plane, look, I was standing up there, so my warp, my reload location was up on there. So yeah, there is reload points in here. You gotta be careful. Luckily, there's not many of them in these in the museum in the museum area, and I'll never air. I'm gonna show you in a minute. And the area I just showed you, Dimitri's like nightclub out of his nightclub area. There's not too many of them, but there is. There, they are there, and it can get annoying. Okay, that now I can stand still. This is fun. Yeah, love that. What in the world? Huh? There's not many of them, though. Okay, we can also go to... Hotel. Little hotel. It's in here. Okay, I'm gonna sh the parallel, the infamous parallel universe glitch that exists in most only the Slack collection of Slack 2. If you're playing it on actual without console, without cheats, you need to use the Slack collection. You, 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 you have to paraglide. Mo um, super. Make it jump into this and then power gliding into the, you know, the top part here. It's very tedious and mostly just crashes the game, but on actual, on cheating, on this cheat ends in program, you can just do this. So, go, cool, yeah, I'm going to show you this. So I'm going to get out of here. I didn't show you, I was going to say this for another video. Like I said, I wanted to save some stuff for another video. Because there's a lot to do with this program. I found some more bugs last night just by playing it, so. Ah, I'm going to show you some cool things I also found. Oh, he's here. Cool. Well, we can just take care of him right now, so. There we go. Take care of that. Okay. And by the way, for noting, I, I, I am using my 100% file right now, just so I can go to these levels. Well, some levels, like the museum, you have to beat the game. At least beat the main the, the level first, or it's going to take you back in bounds, so. So I got to figure, okay, do this. Which way goes forward? I got to figure it out first, because it keeps changing for me. Oh, that's backwards? Okay, here we go. 
mind the emulation bug right there with the logo. I don't know what that's all about, but okay. I don't know where the, where the triggers are to go back and bounds, but I'm always scared to hit them, so. I, I try to just get, for, I don't know how you get pulled back in bounds. I don't really know where it, what makes it do that, but it's very annoying. So I'm going to get, if you use these slow triggers, you can stay out of bounds infinitely. But it's pretty slow, so I'll never not. And then we're gonna turn the fly on. And also this well, first we'll turn this on. And now we'll turn on the speed one. Yeah, if you, if you, yeah, we're actually in the level itself, level two's hub. We're in this area, but the hotel. Yes, yeah, so if you didn't know this, the whole the hotel area out of bounds. You can get to this whole area and explore the hub world. The waterfalls even even moves, which is kind of weird. But if you go into it, yeah, it's cool. This is this is a parallel universe glitch. It's got it, the hub world is copied, but it's not exactly the same. It looks identical, but it's very low, you know, low when rendered and stuff, but. See, I can go underneath this. Very weird, honestly. It's just to be here. See, look, look at this poor, this poor texture right here. It's like this, yeah, it's weird. See, yeah, it's a broken version because it's, it's not, you're not supposed to be here, but yeah, the entire second hub world, you can kind of explore here. It's really weird. It's just cool to see. Yeah, it's, people call this the parallel universe glitch. It's a good name for it, honestly, because it's the exact replica of the map, but it's cool to see because you're not supposed to be, you're supposed to be in the hotel, but they literally put a lot of detail here. It's cool. Well, they did because you can go out the windows and look around. So it makes sense. But it's just cool to see this. I think it's neat. Not everything loads. This ground right here is all missing. But here's the safe house. If you go way over here, look, there's no bridge here. The bridge is not even here. If you go over here, uh, uh, this is where the van should be, right here. I don't know what's what's inside here. Okay, this this is where the van is usually parked. It's a pretty big area though. Now, where is the safe house located? The door for it. I can't find it. Okay, I'll just do this. Here's the safe house. Right up here. There's no table here. You're not supposed to, but yeah, they literally went through all this. This is insane. As you can see, this is insane. They put all this extra detail here, the makers, like sucker funds. You're not supposed to even be here. Like, this is sick. Yeah, I'm moving by myself. I can't help it. I don't know what. I don't know what makes it happen, but whatever. See, yeah, you can use this 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 trainer to do all kinds of fun things, as you can see. This trainer is the key for just 
like completely breaking this game and seeing out of bounds and doing a lot of cool things. Yeah, yeah, yeah as you can see, this level is one of the levels that doesn't pull you back in bounds pretty easily. If you go too close to where the hotel normally is, yeah, like right over, yeah, you will get probably pulled back. I have, get, you you will get pulled back in. Like I said, if you use cheat keys, these spire points I think are solid. They are. But I don't know how I'm going to land on that. Okay, that was odd. He was being pulled when I was pausing the game. Okay, because I... I'm not doing it oh, for Pete's sake. But those spire points, you, you can lay on them. There's videos of that. I was being pulled by. I'm being pulled about playing the game because the speed, the speed, the speed hack has a bug. Of, yeah, if you pause the game and we'll, the game is still moving you. I didn't know. I, oh, that's yeah, that's kind of weird. Oh well, not a big deal. But little blitz I found. Okay. So now I'm gonna load um, a file that's not beaten, so I can show off some limited mission glitches because there's a lot of them. There's a couple that I want to show you, so. Okay, we're in Paris Hub, and we're loaded the mission for Neela. Now, you want to see a funny glitch? No, no one knows about this, so I'll make a video on it, because I make, I know things too about this game. I hope you, I hope, I'll sign to Cooper to, to community to watch, start watching my videos, because, I know stuff about this game too. I'm a huge fan of Sly Cooper. Just saying. If you like, like Sly Cooper, watch my check out my channel. I mean, I do Sly Cooper more often. Now that I have this, I'm gonna be more making a lot more of these. Plus, I'll make Madagascar 2 videos, SpongeBob videos, like tons of games I like playing. So enjoy this content. Yeah, I know you guys that watch my videos already like my. I'm talking about other people. I hope. I mean, I'm fine. I, I know not a lot of Sly Cooper community. Doesn't even watch. Do they watch magic? I don't know. I don't know. They probably do. I hope so. Because I, I want them to... I'm in the same, I want to be in the same community. Like, they, they like it. I like it too. Okay, here we go. Load this. Now, watch this. Load this. Hold it, Cooper. Constable. It loads normally, right? This is the cutscene. Policewoman Hana Mateo. Please. I led you here. No, well, you, you want to double load. Not that. Load this, load this. At this. Press load and reload at the same time. And what? Well. Hold it, Cooper. This. Constable Mira. It loads the cutscene in the safe house. My tail. Please. So that claw gang slip was a clue. Why are you helping me out? I'm not as black and white as Carmelita. I know what a menace those clockwork parts are. And... So what? <laughs> Takes a thief to catch a thief? Something like that. But if I'm going to trust you in this case, I need to know that you can keep up. Literally. Don't fall behind. It's pretty funny because Dimitri's um walkie talkie thing is cutting her half the conversations off. Because his walkie talkie's in the background, the, the bug is in the background. So yeah, you can actually have that cutscene take place in the safe house, like a lot of and this works with a lot of cutscenes, a lot of cutscenes. Like really, just really load the missions, like from here. And you quest so I can do I don't know what mission this is. I don't remember the name of it, so we're gonna mess around with it again. Okay, this is a cool one. Let's try this out. So what you do is you load, reload, both of them. So interrupt it. Just press load and then light together, and then it will load the cutscene in here again. Coast is clear for what? 
Oh yeah, it's taking place in the safe house, and you can do this with, 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 now you can do this with any mission with that simple technique that I found. Because unlike a lot of people, I show people how to do things. I don't just keep it to myself. That's boring. You you want people to know how to do something. I want people. To, I want people to know my show how to do something. I, I don't like I keeping it to myself. That's not fun. Some things I like to keep myself. Okay. Some things I will tell people. If you ask me, then I will say it. Yeah, that's how you do it. I won't just ignore you. So. Okay, watch this. I'm gonna try it with this one. That was the wrong one. You can't. That's not gonna work. Now we have to quit this because so, we're we're in a mission right now. Make sure, yeah, if you because it's still gonna be there. So quit that. Let's take another one. This one. I think this is the one with Bentley. With the bug. With the. Oh, it's okay. You know this. This would be interesting. Let's try this one. Fine. Let's use this one. So you have to pick Murray now because it's gonna be it's gonna get stuck. So because he's in this mission, so pick Murray now. Load and re and reload. Okay, Murray. That alarm horn will. Where's Murray? We're not in there. <laughs> Sometimes you can get characters to be in there and they talk. Yeah, it's kind of funny. Sometimes you can get that to happen. This one? Yeah, it's this one. So we got Actually, you can also do this, actually, too. If you reload again, let me see something. You can play this as Murray. Actually, you can't play this as Murray because I don't think it ever registers correctly. I don't think it does. I don't think it registers correctly, but before we try that, let's actually... I want to give that a try, actually. See if I can beat that as Murray. I don't think you can. I think I tried that last time, but I have another idea for this. So, load this. Okay. Load and reload. At the same time. If you just press one after the other, and then it's going to double load. Okay, he's not there. But we can also just do this. Nice. So, we'll be able to listen in on his conversations. Yes, I thought things might go more smoothly with an ear on the inside. No. Just keep an eye, but no doubt the bus keep capsing. Try it, let's just give it a try. Not, it's not holding it, but it should. I don't know if it's. Yeah, it's the arrow is over there. So. It's... I did not pick the white hub will have area lever. Mmm, damn it.
Okay, we're still on the mission. As you can see, I, I, can't, I can't tell, but I can't move now. So what I'm gonna try and do is reload the area again. It should skip the cutscene. It should skip it. And it does. So now we have to get over there. Let's see if we can beat, oh, we can't get in there as Murray though. But what we can do is break, break it as Murray and then clip through the door. We have to do this in the order it wants because it's scripted. So let's try to break this bit. This is kind of fun. I want to see if I can beat this mission as Murray. It may not work though, but let's try. Sometimes you can play missions with the wrong characters. Not all the time you can though. Like sometimes you can and it's fun. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna load, I'm gonna load all the triggers. Make sure I do it properly. Oh, well, Dimitri's not talking, so... Hmm. I guess, okay, I guess the trigger's not gonna work, but let's see if we can still beat it. We may have to go switch back and forth between characters. We may have to do that, too. That might be another thing we have to do. Because I thought he was holding his visible object. Apparently, you can't do. Okay, fine. Well, what we can also do is do this. Let's go outside the outbreak mirror area as Murray. Let's do that. I'm gonna try that real quick. Oh, here's this little hole here. That's cool. Yeah, so that's... My apologies, I can't see it, sorry. Okay, there we go. I can't see it, it's not... That was the best of eyesight when it comes to small shit. Okay. So now you can just fall and now you can <laughs> see the level from the distance. Yeah, see that's what I mean. If this is overpowering as all hell, I love this trainer. It's really good at Slime Free's got some good moments too, actually. Yeah, there is something you can do with Slime Free, it's fun, but out of bounds stuff is pure fun in this game. Because you, you don't get pulled back. Okay, you get pulled back in bounds occasionally, but if you use these key, keys here, you won't have that will never happen. And there's no death point. Ah, uh, there is some hurt planes. They're not death planes. They're hurt planes, I call them. Because you you get, like, you might lose a bit of life. And you, you kind of flap your arms and kind of move back a bit. That's all, yeah. If you saw in Cairo. I told you never video that. Okay, we'll be right back. I'm going to show you. I found something cool we can do with Murray in episode 6 or 7. It's the first Canada level with the trains. It's pretty neat. 
what happened? Okay, this mission. If you load this one. Carmelita? She's now, here? you're gonna see more character glitches. Watch this. Load. Load. Here's a never cutscene glitch in the hideout. Why? It's awful. I can't believe it. Slow down, Bentley. What happened? Murray, he went out looking for a stat and got captured by Inspector Fox. Carmelita? She's Whoa. here? Don't worry, Bentley. I know how to handle her. But I don't know where she's locked up. Murray, I'm used to having all the facts. Calm down. Carmelita's not cruel. Okay, he's moving really way too quick to mess I'll with us. I'll follow her without being seen. She's bound to check on Murray sooner or later. Okay, that's... That's a good plan. Just okay, this is pretty funny. Well, if you do this, I think... Why? It's, it's awful. I can't All right, it. do this. Do this. I think... Okay, I think this is how you do it. Why? Load Murray it's in this... Because if you don't know, this is the part of the game where Murray gets captured by Carmelita, and he's in that like, electric, fed, electric like box or something, and you have to fix, save him by getting the keys. Well, play this game. You know what I mean? That mission. Well, you can actually do this. Load Murray from the list of things, uh, from the trainer, and after the cutscene plays, this happens. Carmelita's not cruel like the Contessa. I'll follow her without being seen. It's actually pretty cool. She's bound to check on Murray sooner or later. Okay, that's... That's a good plan. Just don't get caught too. I don't want to be alone again. You're gonna... You, you... Oh, it did not... Oh, wait a second. If I... If I reload the area, does it work? Huh. How do they do that before? That's the thing about this trainer, though. It's it's kind of hard to remember everything. There's certain ways to manipulate the game, but you can do it some weird. Is it this? Yeah, there we go. You load in his perspective, but I can't move though. I you can normally though. How do I do that? Okay, I think I get what you have to do. And do you? Okay, I don't think I remember now. Actually, yes, I do remember. Kill yourself. Oh, we got a lot of life. Why am I dying? Huh? That was weird. I wasn't even dying there. Excuse me? What happened? How did this happen? No, it's not the trainer. The game glitched. I don't. I, I'm not gonna die now. Apparently, where are the enemies? Okay, this is this is not what I meant. This is not what I had in mind, but I'll take it. Wait, is a train hit ya? What happens? Because you're supposed to die if you get hit by the train. I don't know where the train is, so. There's no enemies, there's no nothing. Okay, we broke this. I never. Okay, I don't know how I even did this. Oh, yeah, here's the glitch I was gonna do unintentionally. This is what. Apparently, this happens. The guards don't hurt you. Yeah, nothing. They won't do anything to you. They're shooting you. Hey, if you make them angry, they'll give you one shot, but that's it. That's literally all that happens, so. I don't know how that ha what that happens. I have no explanation for that. Like, not one bit.
Okay, does that work? There we go. <laughs> yes. See? You, then you can load up in jail. And the little jail thing is Murray. And you're playing it through his perspective right now. So, yes. There's a character cheat. I'm not using the character cheat mod, but the character switch mod, which I do want to download, by the way. But you cannot play through his perspective. He's stuck in jail. Now, I think Carmelita is supposed to ch come come to the cage. Oh, she's not even she's even here. If she does weeks the cage, you lose anyway. Yeah, you still lose. But she will weeks the cage to check up on him. So we have to get to see see it from his perspective. He's stuck in here. That's kind of neat, actually. Yeah, you get to see this thing through his like. I think it's be cool. Yeah, see the glitch. I don't know what. Yeah, see now the hurt glitches. So you even even become invulnerable. What? That is odd. Yeah, now you're not. It's fixed. Well, that's very interesting. Now Murray's not in here, apparently. Okay. Is Carmen really even moving? There's Carmen. What is going on? Oh, she is, actually. She's reaching their destination. Yeah, I like this. <laughs> then I don't know where if there's any warp warp areas, but like I said, see you get yeah, that's what I mean. There's a lot of warp areas if you don't know how to, if you don't know what you're doing. It's annoying.
There's a train. Whoa. Yeah, that's what I mean. Some levels just get, you get pulled back in balance. It's so damn easily. Like that won't happen if you use the cheat keys though. You don't have to worry about that. If you you just you just have to use the cheat keys. Before we end this video, let's actually play around with let's see what's let's look inside buildings with this. I'm gonna have to use this to see. But let's mess with this a little bit. So I can see well, if I have if I have the binocular come on on I can always look around without having the without the camera getting stuck. So I can look. We're inside these houses. You can see the house is hollow. It's cool to see. It's a bottle just hanging up there. Good. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed that. Don't know how long this video has been, but more of Sly Cooper 2 trainer. I don't know if this supports the first game, but I may have to try that at some point. But it's pretty fun, honestly. And there's actually mods for this game I found out. You can I'm gonna have to try these mods at some point. Well this is technically a mod, but there's actual mods for this game too, people make. I didn't know that. That's cool. See ya.